Hi. In this video, I want to build a multilingual site with the WPML plugin. I created a site with several pages and content sections. Its primary language is English. I want to add a German translation. I'll start by installing the WPML plugin. I'll go to the plugins, add new, upload plugins, and pick the plugins file. After installing, I need to set up the plugin, so I'll press the configure button. First, I'll pick the new language. In my case, it's German. I'll keep the default option for the URL structure. The next step requires the license key for my site. After this, I can choose whether I want to translate the content automatically or manually translate what I choose. I'll pick the second option. I'll keep default values for the remaining steps. After setting up the plugin, I can choose a bulk option to translate all existing posts automatically or pick the manual option. In this case, I want to copy the content of the English version to German and add translation manually, so I'll choose the duplicate content option. Now I'll return to my homepage. First, I want to add a translation for the header. I want to add a language switch near the logo. I'll go to Impreza, Headers, and start editing the header. I'll add a drop-down element and set it up to show the language switcher. I prefer displaying the language name without the flag icon, so I'll keep the flag checkbox unchecked. I'll save the changes and recheck my page. The language switcher appears, but the German version still shows the menu titles in English. That's because I chose to duplicate the content earlier. To actualize the menu, I'll first translate the page titles. I'll go to Pages, choose the German language at the top and add German translation to the titles. Next, I'll go to the Appearance, Menus. Since I don't have any menus in German, a new menu is suggested by default, with all the pages included. I'll specify that it would be a translation to my main menu in English, pick the language, and set the name for the menu. I'll go back to my page and see how the header changes. Now I can see the relevant translations inside the menu element. Next, I'll move on to the content translation and start editing the page with Live Builder. Adding translation to the text is simple. I click the element to open its settings and replace the English text with a German translation. I'll add more examples by translating some headings and essential elements. I save the changes. The last thing left to translate is the footer. I'll use the quick link to start editing it. Similar to the content, I'll add translation to the elements by editing their settings. I'll save the changes and check the final result. So I added translation to German with WPML. And now the page shows relevant translation for the content footer and header, including the menu element. I can use a similar approach to add translation to any other site page. Thanks for watching. In this video, I created a multilingual site with the WPML plugin. In the following video, I'll show how to do the same with the Polylang plugin.